Welcome back to your course on object oriented programming using Java. In this video, we're going to cover up if else statements. If else statements are one of the most integral part of any programming language and same is true for Java. So when do we use if else statements? If else statements are used when there is a branching in your code. Okay, so there can be only one possibility out of multiple possibilities. So let's say you want to show a particular piece of information only if the user is uh, older than 18 years. Then you'll ask for user's age. So there are only three possibilities here. Either he will be uh, younger than 18 or older than 18 or exactly 18. So now as a programmer, you will write specific code for each of the conditions and if else statements help you achieve so. Okay, so now in this video, we're going to see how to implement if else statements in Java. We are back in IntelliJ IDE. Now I have created a class by the name of if else demo. You can see that. And we already have our public static void main method. Now in this video, we're going to create a very simple login application. Okay. This is not going to be connected to a database. So it would be a hard coded login application, which basically means it will check for only one correct value. And the correct value, let's say, is x, y, z at the rate learnstack.in and the correct password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so if our program will ask to enter an email from our user and he'll also ask, it will also ask to enter a password. So if the password and email entered by the user is exactly this, then only we'll say you are welcome. Otherwise, we'll say, let's say X is denied or the password that you have entered is incorrect. Okay, so let's create this particular application. So the first thing that we need is a scanner object, just like we did in our previous video, which will be used to take inputs from the user. Scanner scan, new scanner. And over here, we'll just use system.in. So guys, even if you're not very much uh, you know in comfort with the syntax that I'm using currently it is because because you're just you've just started programming in Java in Java everything is a class so the bad thing is you haven't studied what is a class and object so this may seem a bit scary to you but again I'll tell you this don't be worried about it just uh, remember the syntax we're going to discuss classes and objects in detail in the future videos once you have covered that this will seem a cakewalk to you okay so now again it's throwing me some error so what I have to do is I have to just print, press Alt, Enter and I have to select the scanner class and it will add this line to my code. Okay, so now the error is gone. Now I'll just use system dot out dot print. I'll use print line to change line and I'll ask enter the email. Okay, and now I'll take a string. Let's call it email. And this would be equal to scan object dot next line as we are taking a string input. Again, we'll use system dot out dot print line and we'll enter, we'll ask him to enter the password like this. And again, we are going to take a string variable, let's call it password, and we'll use the scan object scan dot next line. Okay, so now we are done with taking the input from the user. Now we have to put our main logic. Okay, so the logic is very simple. We'll give login only when both the email and password that is given by the user is correct. If any one of them is incorrect, we are going to throw him an error. Okay, so this is how you're going to do it. You will write if, if is a keyword, if email, email is our variable dot will call a function called equals okay so what equal does is it equates two strings one this one this is a string variable and the second one provided over here and over here we'll provide our correct string like this okay so if this is equal to this then equals will give one else it will give zero Okay, so in this entire statement, I'm just checking if the email entered by user is equal to this or not. If equal to that, 
it means true else it will give a false value and then we'll use something called a and operator so again you have not read about and operators we're going to discuss about them in the next video so don't worry about it it basically checks two conditions one this and the second one that i'm going to write and that is password dot equals and my password is one two three four five okay and then what you have to do is you have to open a curly brace so if this is true and this is true this means the user has entered the correct values which means i can print out system dot out dot print line i can print out welcome user okay else if he hasn't entered the correct value i can print out system dot out dot print line and let's say incorrect email slash password okay so this is the code okay so basically this is how you use if else statements you first write if then you put the bracket the bracket in which you put a condition this is the bracket and you just put this entire condition over here okay so you are just checking if the email and password both are provided correctly then you're printing out welcome user if any one of them or both of them are incorrect you're printing out incorrect email password okay so now i'll just run this code and i'll just see if it's working or not so our program compiled come successfully so it's asking me to enter the email let me first enter some random email which is incorrect obviously and let me enter some wrong password so now when i press enter it says incorrect email password okay so let me run this again and this time i'm going to provide the correct email and password xyz learn stack dot in the password is one two three four five and you can see now the program is saying welcome user okay so this is how you're going to use if else statements moving forward now you must be thinking that this if else statement is only handling two cases that is if both the conditions are true then you're printing out something if any one of them is incorrect or both of them is incorrect you're printing out the second thing there is something else called else if which can be used to handle multiple conditions more than two conditions so let's say there is one more scenario and the third scenario is that the user is entering the correct email but incorrect password so this basically means that particular user has an account on our website or app but he has just forgot his password okay so the condition is this that he has entered the correct email but the incorrect password now what i want in this particular case is i want to ask him sir you forgot the password would you like to try again and we'll again ask for the password and then if he will give the correct password i'll print out welcome else i'll say uh, sorry you can't access your account okay let's try this so first of all what i have to do is i have to write a third condition and you write a third condition using the else if statement okay so the else if is pretty much similar to if you write else if and you write a, a condition in between the brackets okay so again what i'll do is I'll just copy this entire thing, control C, and I'll put it over here. And what I can do is I can put a not condition like this. Uh, okay, yeah. And now I'll put a bracket like this. And I'll just bring this else to over here. So now if you can see what I have done is this entire condition is exactly same that we used inside the if statement. The only thing that I changed is I put this entire password uh, condition into a bracket and just in front of the bracket, I used a not operator. So if this entire thing is not true and this thing is true, then this particular condition will be triggered. That is if else. And over here, what I'm trying to do is I'm just printing out system dot out dot print line let's say i'll just print out you forgot the password okay let's run the code let's enter the correct email id that is x y z at the rate learns that dot in and let's enter some incorrect password 
and it says you forgot the password okay so now you can see how you can handle multiple conditions if there are more than two conditions so if there are four conditions you're going to use one more else if five one more else if. for every extra condition you're going to use one else if statement so now what i'm doing is i'll just put one more if else statement inside this else if and this particular thing is called nested else if statements so now what i'm doing is i am writing this i'm equating the password variable again to be equal to in fact what i'll do is first i'll write a system dot out dot print statement and i'll print out you forgot the password would you like to try again okay and i'll just put a question mark second column i'll come down i'll write password is equal to scan dot next line okay so he will enter the password and now over here i'll check if the new password is equal to the correct password if so then i'll print out system dot out dot print line welcome user and if he failed to enter the password again, which is the second condition, I'll just print out system out dot print line. This is denied or in fact, let's print out account locked. Okay, so you can actually see, first we are asking for the email and password. If he provides both of them correctly, we are printing out welcome user. If he's providing the correct email ID, but incorrect password, then we are printing out you forgot the password and we are asking for the password again and this time if we provide the correct password we are just printing out welcome user else we are locking his account and there is one last condition if he enters both the email and password as incorrect values then we are printing out incorrect email and password let's run the code again let's first enter the correct email which is xyz at the rate not gmail learnstack.in the password is let's say we are entering some incorrect value you forgot the password would you like to try again so now i'm trying the correct password which is one two three four five and it says welcome user let's check the second case by running the code again entering the correct password x y z at the rate gmail keep on writing gmail it's learn stack dot in the password is incorrect and you forgot the password and again entering the incorrect password and it says account locked Okay, so in this video, we learned to use if else statements, if else, if else statements, and nested if else statements. We are going to use if else statements a lot in the future videos. So I would suggest you to go through this video, take your time, and write your code. Till then, uh, thanks for watching. We'll meet in the next video.